South Africa's parliament descended into chaos last night as opposition members of parliament were removed by force after disrupting President Jacob Zuma's annual address. Zuma had barely begun speaking when EFF members began interrupting, demanding to ask the president about when he would repay part of a state-funded security upgrade of his rural home. Nigeria's central bank chief, Godwin Emafele, says there is no need to panic about a slide in the Nigerian currency after figures showed the bank had been burning through more than 110 million US dollars a day in a vain attempt to defend it. According to Emafele, the Nigerian economy remained very resilient. The leaders of Ukraine, Russia, Germany and France announced a peace deal for an end to fighting in the eastern Ukraine following 16-hour marathon talks in the Belarusian capital of Minsk. The agreement sees a ceasefire between Ukrainian government and opposition forces starting on Sunday, followed by the withdrawal of heavy weapons from the front line. Italy says it is closing its embassy in Yemen temporarily due to recent violence in the country. The Italian Foreign Ministry announced the move today, following similar announcements by France, Britain and the United States. In January, rebels dissolved parliament and declared they were taking over the government. Pilots at Lufthansa's budget airline German Wings entered a second and final day of strikes today, forcing the carrier to cancel some 160 flights, according to German media reports. The pilots' union strike is designed to put pressure on Lufthansa's management in a long-running row over early retirement benefits.